there's something big growing on Ontario fields. Some innovative Ontario farmers have taken the steps to show that we can grow miscanthus, a tall warm season grass, and make money doing it. Let's take a look at what it takes to establish a productive miscanthus operation. Miscanthus is a tall perennial grass, originally native to Asia. Experience with growing miscanthus in southern Ontario's climate indicates that it has very high biomass production potential. It looks to be a premier perennial biomass crop for growing on good land. Miscanthus stands are propagated directly from rhizomes or plugs generated from rhizomes. The rhizomes are generally harvested from mature plants grown in light soils. David Smith, a farmer from Port Ryersey, explains how. So this basic plant harvesting uh, piece of equipment is designed to keep the plant material on the top until it's cut and then uh, it separates the dirt from the roots and it all will go down through where the dirt is separated from the plant material in the bottom and then it's conveyed to the hopper. Good field selection and preparation is important to establishing a good stand of miscanthus. Control of perennial grassy weeds in the fall and spring prior to planting is key. Farmers are still experimenting with different approaches to establishment. Miscanthus requires an initial year to establish and does not produce sufficient biomass for harvesting in the first year. Soybean is being evaluated as a nurse crop to get some revenue in the first year and improve weed control. A miscanthus stand is a long-term investment with stands lasting more than 20 years. In the second year, a well-established crop will yield 50 to 70 percent of full production and nearly 100 percent production by the third year. Because rhizomes are used, planting miscanthus requires specialized equipment. Miscanthus can be planted from seedling plugs generated from rhizomes. Plugs have a good establishment but are costly to produce and labor intensive to plant. New techniques to plant rhizomes are being demonstrated in Ontario to avoid these costs. David Smith has run his new no-till planter for several seasons now. The rhizome hopper is capable of carrying enough rhizomes for approximately 10 acres. From these rhizomes, we can harvest them, clean them, and ship them anywhere in North America for establishing warm miscanthus. This piece of equipment that we have here, um, in our opinion, is the missing link that we can efficiently establish um, acres of miscanthus so that we can support the industry that's being developed. Up until now, it's not been able to be done very efficiently. Poor establishment resulting from poor rhizome quality, inadequate rhizome to soil contact, shallow planting depth, or poor weed control can result in weed pressure that is difficult to address in early years. A well-established stand of miscanthus forms a dense canopy that is up to 8 to 10 feet tall that will shade out weed competition. Over the fall and winter, the plants senesce and nutrients move back down into the root mass or leach into the soil. The high carbon, low nutrient biomass is then baled in the spring. There is a variety of conventional chopping and baling equipment that can be used to harvest miscanthus. Standing overwintered miscanthus is very dry in the spring, often approaching 10% moisture. Miscanthus is most commonly cut using a disc mower and then immediately baled either with a round or large square baler. Standing miscanthus can also be harvested directly with a forage or silage harvester. Depending on the variety grown, miscanthus can yield 7 to 10 dry tons per acre every year. Once harvested, bale storage is key. Some farmers have dedicated storage buildings, others stack and tarp the bales outside and some farmers plastic wrap their bales. Ontario farmers have been selling miscanthus primarily into the livestock market as bedding. Dry miscanthus has excellent absorptive properties. The dry spongy pith or center and rigid external wall have a number of interesting performance benefits compared to conventional straw. Miscanthus is also being pelletized for energy use and is being sold to make bioproducts. Miscanthus is a very exciting biomass crop that requires a long-term commitment. With high yields and good performance in end-use markets, it holds much promise. To find out more about growing miscanthus and about miscanthus markets, contact the Ontario Biomass Producers Co-op.